Welcome to Two Tables, One List page, What to Do. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, today's video was inspired by Steve Endo on Twitter. Uh, you should follow Steve on Twitter. There's also you know, always lots of good stuff coming there. Uh, asking, what if I have two tables and I want to show both of them in, in a list? Uh, uh, kind of joining them together um, and and I gave him a, a quick reply and say you got some options you can use the query object uh, and I think we already have multiple videos on a query object on, uh, on the channel so no reason to talk about query objects here but then we got two other options one is flow fields so you could create f flow fields in Let's say that that you you have table A and table B, and uh, you a list view can only have one table, so to speak. So we'll let table A drive the list view, and then we'll on in table A we'll create flow fields f to pull in fields from table B. Total valid method uh, has the uh, the advantage of uh, you can kind of filter on it. Disadvantage is that you have to create the flow fields. Uh, uh, if you have multiple flow fields, and I think there's also a video on this uh, actually somewhere on the on the channel. If you have multiple flow fields going to the same place with the same filter, Microsoft is clever enough to actually handle them in the same same call. So so it's basically the same price for doing one flow field as doing ten. Um, so don't worry about the cost of flow fields in that aspect um, the third option was you can also just kind of combine the two into a single uh, single list uh, just by creating the columns and doing some some of the work behind the scene so um, I think that's the one we're gonna try to do today in this video um, and as usual, I have just started a um, new extension. So let's uh, let's work with that. Um, I think we're gonna create a, a list. Uh, so let's do. We can just do sales documents versus sell to a customer, just to make it easy. Um, so I'll create a page here, uh, one list, two tables, uh, source table name will be sales header, how about that, I'm gonna do a list, application area, admin, there we go, no reason for tooltip. So what I'm using here right now, the new page for shot, is the, um, let me just actually click. Uh, and this is cell two. Oh, this is sales header. So let me just grab. Let me grab document type. Number. Uh, document date. Just so we have something posting date. Um, and then let's let's grab let's grab uh, sell to customer number. But the idea is that we want other fields than the fields that are pulled over anyway. Um, I think this we have this most excellent page here. All is good. Um, so the wizard, I, that's what I want to say, is out of this guy. Um, Andres, ASAT, AL, Dev Tools, awesome extension that does all sorts of cool things. Uh, this was the wizard. There's, uh, you know, the symbol browser. So if you go in and uh, click on the symbol, you can can see the browser with the content and it's 
And there's a bunch of other things that I don't think I'm actually using. Maybe I'm using them without knowing them. Uh, there's some code actions and stuff like that. Um, so, oh, look. This. Oh, maybe we should actually... Maybe it's time to do a 2024 extensions. Uh, code, visual code extensions. Let me know in the comments below after you subscribe, of course. Uh, if if it's time to do a 2024 st state of the uh, state of the extension uh, world. Anyway, sorry, that was a. Um, and I do apologize for the weird hair. Uh, I've been skiing today, uh, and uh, I have an acute version of weird helmet hair. Uh, I. I don't really apologize for that, but uh, it's it's weird. Anyway, sorry. Now we have a list. So let's just remember that we, of course, want to be clever and keep our inner loop short. So let's put in uh, this page as a startup page. So we'll just run and see that our page is working. And we need to log into our business central. It's working. We got some good quotes, orders, and invoices, and and we can see that we have that. So that is nice. So now, what do we do? We we want to add some more columns here. Uh, so I want to add. Um, something from the customer table uh, but I can't really do that right now because I don't have that so the first thing I need to do is that I need to get a customer and the way there's several ways we can do this um, but but let's do one of them so I'll create a customer variable here boom so now we have and now you see, now it's confused here. We have completely confused it because I wrote field up here without anything. So it now says you cannot do bar down here. But if I get this, remove this again, then, oh, now it's happy. Um, so I could create now, and then let's see what can I do. I can do customer, but that doesn't really work right. Um, but I can do customer dot. Um, let's let's select some fields. Let's select some fields, customers, something with data in it. Um, you know the balance. How about the balance? That that's probably a nice thing. So customer dot balance, LCY perhaps. So now see this this the name of the field on the screen is kind of wrong. So so we have to fix that ourselves. Now we have we we we're showing the we're showing something. So let's uh, do that again. We'll do customer dot uh, and what what should we grab? We could grab the I don't know. Um, let's grab the we get even uh, there, there's not that much data so I am going to grab the the payment terms code why not payment terms code there and we'll update this one again. So payment terms code. Okay. Hit a five, it compiled, there's no errors. So uh, this is gonna be a short video. Maybe not because now it just says zero and blank. So, Clearly, that's because what we have here is, you know, there's, there's just a blank variable here. 
Um, so that doesn't really work. So now we need to populate table B. So if table A is cell cell, then table B is, is customer. We need to populate this global variable here. And uh, we can do that several places. Oh, actually two. Uh, there's a trigger called on after get record. So this trigger is called every time the list box goes and grab something from the, from cell server. So now we can uh, do a simple if customer dot get, and then we'll grab the uh, rec dot sell to customer number. Then, then what? Well, actually, I think we have to do if not get, then let's clear customer. So imagine that we have a sales header with a customer number for some reason on it that is invalid or perhaps it is blank, right? So we, we are not able to, to get the customer. We, we, let's actually add in uh, uh, maybe we you are not allowed to enter numbers manually. Oh, so I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Let's see if we are able to do this meaningful or we'll break something. Oh, I think it worked. So now we have clearly there's no customer on this one. So if I do nothing here, so now we get a so so every time we get a cell setup, we get the appropriate customer record. And we can see that. Oh, let's uh, let's reorder this so we get some of the. So it's clearly getting stuff, uh, but we can see that. Hang on. The, we 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 still have a problem with the balance, yeah. But we also have a problem with this one getting a value on the customer payment terms code because there is no customer. So the global variable will survive, right? It, its value from the re whatever record it, it grabbed the last time will still have a value. So if we cannot find a record, let's clear it. And now this is blank. It still says zero because all uh or we can we might be able to let's see if we can do blank zero equal true okay so this is good so now we can go and so okay Let's actually change the the logic here again and do else clear. So now we can go and say, okay, customer dot calc fields. Oh, we can, we, we actually, we might want to do this better. So let's go back to the, the not, and then let's do customer set auto calc fields balance LTY. So, this one when we get the the record we get the uh the balance calculated straight away now we have balance and we have value in our field how nice is that so now we have two tables in one list um what can happen uh is that uh when when 
you, it starts scrolling up and down it can get confused so I typically say okay let's create this one as calc or update line uh, re what about refresh line and then we go here on after get record we do refresh line and then we do trigger on after get current record there are cases where i just want to get the same record again uh, so in that case we also do refresh line otherwise you might end up in situations where suddenly the because this is the global variable the, so the danger about using global variable is that it's global so at some point if if it has a value if it if suddenly want to show this one and we have not calculated to the appropriate one then uh it will show whatever value it has um so by subscribing to both uh both events then you are uh, both triggers then then you're sure that you are always uh did i say subscribe by having your code on both triggers is probably the better explanation then you're good you know your lines are always calculated um, so what is the um, what is what is the this this is pretty lightweight meaning that well we get one record we get another record we get one we get another so 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 it, it's very comparable in, in, in cost from a database perspective. What are the downsides of, uh, of, of this approach? Well, the first one is that, you know, when I click up here, I can do stuff. I can, I can sort, I can filter. When I click over here, I can, I can neither sort or filter. Uh, um if i click uh, edit i can edit so so you have the option uh, so you cannot sort you cannot filter on table b but but you can edit uh, uh this one if if you're using flow fields then edit is more complicated there's also a video on edit flow fields um i did that recently um but if if we edit this one, so let's say we uh, type in uh, YouTube here. Um, you saw that it disappeared again. So the 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 record gets the field in record gets a value, but nothing else happens. So if we want that to actually have an effect, we have to on all of these add in a trigger of on validate and then we have to do our own okay then in that case we need to uh, we need we, we need to either just modify the customer record straight away or we need to set a flag and then when we we do some navigation away from this one if we have to flag we need to modify first i prefer just to modify uh on, unless we are in a there's a ton of fields and stuff like that then let's not make it complicated so in that case i would um and 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 i would do an on validate here and we could do customer dot modify. Let's see what happens then. So I go edit list and I type YouTube here. And, and if I hit a five, now the value is YouTube, which is clearly not a payment terms code because money and YouTube, right? Um, so, so what happened here? Well, this this is this is perhaps a quirk of of Business Central. Then, when we do this, 
it, it, it's just the raw assign. It's not a validate. So what you would do is put in a validate and then do payment terms code here. So if I go back, compile this, we edit again, and I type Netflix. Um, and interesting, that did not result in a Well, did you yell at the screen? This is one of those, hey, you can yell at payment method code, but it was payment terms. Wow. It's okay. You can yell at me. Okay. Now we try again. I type YouTube. We get a break. We get two breaks because one is not enough and this is clearly not so i can cry it type current month and then now works um so that is one way where you can get uh two tables into uh, to one list and uh, pros and cons uh, I use this approach a lot uh, when I know for certain that my users do not need to filter on the table B uh, fields. Um, if they need to do that, then depending on what I'm going to do, uh, flow fields, look up flow fields. I should have said that earlier. Uh, is is probably a, a good way to go about it. Um, let me know what do you do. Uh, you put in the comments about that, and then you can check out this video. Uh, more great AL hacking. Uh, go check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.